Michelle had struggled with schizophrenia for most of her adult life. She was not taking her medication as prescribed and disappeared for months at a time, often found living on the street. Her family was exhausted and didn't know where to turn until they found Jewish Family and Children's Services. Esther's grades had been dropping and the teacher noticed a change in her demeanor. She's been acting out in school. A school counselor suggested her family contact JFCS. Deborah was out of work and taking care of her aging father, Frank. She was trying to obtain a job while managing his care. Neither she nor her father was making progress. She was at her wit's end when she was referred to the services of JFCS. After she became compliant with her medication plan, JFCS was able to help Michelle find low-income housing in a stable environment. She is now living independently, and her family is once again able to sleep at night, knowing that she's safe. Through a series of counseling sessions, it was revealed that Esther witnessed her mother being abused in her own home. Although her mother was hesitant at first to admit it was true, she also began treatment through Jewish Family and Children's Services. JFCS was able to assist Dina in leaving an abusive relationship. She needed financial support, including help from the JFCS food pantry in order to get back on her feet. Esther and her mom are recovering slowly. They are stronger, mentally and physically, through the help they receive through the JFCS. JFCS sent a senior care manager to Deborah's home. She performed an in-home assessment and was able to establish a plan of action for Frank's continued care. Now, Frank receives a weekly delivery of kosher Meals on Wheels. A home health aide spends several hours a week providing care. Deborah was able to get back to work through career assistance provided by the JFCS Relaunch Program. This year, Jewish Family and Children's Services provided 24,300 hours of counseling for individuals, couples, families, and groups. Calls for mental health services increased by 50% in the first four months of 2017. The JFCS Food Pantry is on target to provide food to 2,896 people this year. Because of the tremendous need, we will be opening a second food pantry in another part of our catchment area in 2018. More than 200 individuals have received coaching from JFCS's Relaunch Career Services, providing career readiness, including resumes, cover letters, job search, and interview skills, we've guided more than 25% of our clients into new jobs. JFCS volunteers made 2,730 friendly visits to check on homebound seniors this year. Our offices delivered over 70,000 kosher meals on wheels throughout Bergen and Passaic counties. We are proud to report that 97% of our seniors are able to remain independent and safe in their homes.